G'day, Michael West here. The most powerful and influential lobby group in Australia at the moment is Crosby Texter or CT Group. They are that powerful that their former managing director, Jaron Finkelstein, has become Scott Morrison's principal private secretary. Previous investigations done by Michael West Media have found at least a dozen people connected to the coal industry or Rupert Murdoch's News Limited press in the Prime Minister's office, speech writers, press secretaries, um, advi various advisors from the Minerals Council as well. There are a lot of coal people in there and Cosby Texter has a long history of acting for large corporate clients, including Glencore, the most infamous coal group and commodities trader in the world. Now, we broke a story this week and there is more to come on this story about Cosby Texter getting its mitts on 27 million Australian private unlisted mobile phone numbers. They did this for the help of the former communications minister, Mitch Fifield, who very quietly put a law through in December, in mid to late December 2018, which allowed for these numbers to be divulged to private parties. Now, there was no announcement, as we know, with the Morrison government. This is a government of announcements. They even announce announcements and then they reheat them and announce them again. This announcement wasn't even an announcement. There wasn't even a press release with this one. There was nothing. That's because this is the sort of announcement that they never wanted to announce. It was very surreptitious. We've only managed to find this out by doing freedom of information requests via Twitter legend Jommy T. He's a pseudonym, a former public servant that does some brilliant investigative work for Michael West Media. 27 million private unlisted phone numbers, everybody's phone number in the country that's private and unlisted are now controlled or now are able to be used by Crosby Texter, a Liberal Party lobby group. Presumably they'll do it for the next election. They didn't do it for the last one. There's no response, of course, from authorities. They'll just pretend this doesn't exist because they want to announce announceables, not non-announceables. The other point of this announcement, non-announcement, was that Crosby Texter now has access to all the postcodes as well that go with these unlisted private numbers. That is a very powerful electoral campaigning tool. They'll be able to drill down to marginal seats. They'll be able to make all sorts of calls. That's how Clive Palmer presumably put his calls through in the election, somehow getting hold of some of these numbers, maybe from another source, not from the government. The point with this one, though, is that every time, I don't know about you, but I get a lot of calls every week on my private unlisted number. People wanting to sell you financial services, make you filthy rich. People wanting to lower your energy bill. People even wanting to sell you prepaid funeral insurance. All these sort of pesky phone calls are because somebody has sold a list, has sold your phone number to parties that probably should not have your phone number. That's the point of having a private unlisted number. The more insidious aspect of this, of course, is that it is a very influential uh, electoral tool that will be used in order to um, pepper voters come election time with Liberal Party messages. This is Michael West. You can read about it, michaelwest.com.au. Thanks for, thanks for listening in.